We're at the Field of Dreams on the Jerry Hummich Memorial Field where tonight Sheboygan South is going to host their crosstown rival Sheboygan North. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Alongside me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, how many years were you at North uh, coaching <laughs> baseball? A hundred? <laughs> Thirty years, 28 with the uh, varsity and this is two years out now and the big joke around I have is that I got out and now oh, they have all this stuff. We have a nice turf field, the di uh, new uh, L screens over here. We got a batting cage back behind me and I think they were just waiting for me to get out. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been. Uh, let's go through the crew real quick. We got uh, Ron Miller sh giving you that shot right there. Richard Bartson is along the uh, first baseline. Scott Mailoff is our director. There's uh, Richard's shot and in the truck working on graphics is Nate Free. We already mentioned Chris and I. North comes in tonight with a four and four record, three and three in conference. South is one and six, but uh, don't be misled by that uh, one win only. They've uh, been in just about every game they've played. So uh, we could have a good one here tonight, Chris. Yeah, we have a situation where two teams had big victories the other day, which, which could change their season. North lost to De Pere in pretty ugly fashion on Monday, and then they go up to, to Bayport and win that game, and then South, who's lost a lot of close games, comes out and uh, gets a big victory themselves. So maybe those are victories to spring them to something. Lars Krugel starts off the game with a strike on the outside corner. Batting first for uh, North is Harry Feinberg. Harry is uh, playing out in center field. He's got good speed. Real good speed, Marty. Falls that one straight back. And Lars Krugel is a veteran, senior, multi-athlete. Uh, one of South's best, and uh, I'm sure he'll keep uh, the Red Wings in the game. There's a nice shot of Lars on that nice new artificial turf. Another follow straight back. Colin Bennon is the other half of the uh, South High battery. He's uh, catching tonight. Rounding out the defense, we have Ben Soik over at first base. Playing second is uh, Colin Mangan. Playing third base is uh, Dylan Tim. Breaking ball a little bit high. And playing over at shortstop is Lancey and Meyer. Out in left field, we have uh, Elliot Pethon. In center field, Trey Klesig. And right field, Jake Leonard. Uh, the DH tonight for South is Mason Collar. Uh, you can't get that curveball in. Again, Lars attacking there with fastballs. I would have probably done that. Why ring a 3-2 count up on your speed guy? You see that one on the outside. Uh, went right over the other uh, batter's boxes line. A 3-2 count for Krugel. And again, that pitch goes outside. So Feinberg works the walk. And that brings up uh, Brent Witter. Witter is uh, going to Evansville after uh, this season, his senior year. He had three hits the other night at Bayport. Four-year starter. Harry, great speed, likes to run. And he's going to be off and running. I'm sure. Yeah, really. Krugel comes in with a very high ERA, a 10.95, but uh, it's a little misleading. He's only pitched eight innings. It won't take much to get that ERA down. Feinberg running and uh, throw his way off the mark. There's a stolen base for him. Well, you can't walk the leadoff runner. No, it's, uh, you're asking for trouble, you're right. Especially with a kid that can run like a deer. Jacob Nazi is in the on-deck circle. There's a line drive to right, base hit. Feinberg is uh, being held at third. Making a good play out in right field was uh, Leonard. But North has a rally going with runners on first and third and Nazy up. Another four year starter. Yeah, he's going to Parkland Community College. Um, 
in the notes we have here, he's been dealing with a sore shoulder. And yeah. uh, you talked to uh, Coach about him prior to the game. What did yeah. he say? Well, he said he's got cleared today. He uh, swings extremely violent. And uh, extremely violent swing. Doesn't get cheated at the plate. He has home run capabilities, especially on a warmer day like today. And uh, just a swing on Monday night, I saw him swing with his inside shoulder and it bothered him. Play over to first, but uh, Witter gets back in time. Nobody out, runners on first and third for North. You gotta be thinking Witter's gonna be going. Absolutely. That evens up the count at one and one. I look at that. I gave mine away. One one pitch. Hit in the hole at short and it gets through. Run is in. Winner will hold at second. And now North has runners on first and second and nobody out and a run in. Next up for uh, the Raiders. Your catcher. I just wanted to see if I could pronounce his name. Oh. Hunter Steger. Look who's in the house. Denny Moyer in the house. Right next to you. A block has been called. Runners move up. You missed the meeting the other day. I got a gift from Denny. What's that? He didn't eat. I don't know how he kept it in his house for a day or two, but it was a Chicago Cub baseball. Oh, It was a giveaway at Sloan Park. Nobody else yeah. wanted it. Exactly. <laughs> Get that out of my house. Hey, in a minute here, we can, if Denny's gonna stick around, he can talk about some of the stuff with the lights over at Wildwood too. Yeah. Lights are all in and ready to go, and new deck. Yeah, they're going. constructing the deck. I saw that going on the other day. Bouncing ball foul. Hunter's just a sophomore, Marty. Uh, got a little experience last year, uh, playing some varsity a little bit. And uh, I believe his sister is Amaya Steger. She's one of the uh, managers. And uh, she helped out in a huge way before the game, writing the lineups in the book that I'm using. Uh, my handwriting's not very good, so she did that for us. Uh, thank Amaya. Hunter, like you said, is a sophomore. He's catching tonight. Runners are on uh, second and third. Witter on third, Nazy on second. South in a lot of trouble. Deep drive to left, but it uh, goes foul. Denny, what do you think of this facility now? Pretty nice. It's, uh, you know, I'm an old geezer. I'm still not so good at turf. <laughs> I still don't like the DH as far as that goes. Yeah. It really is nice, and it's, it's certainly easy on maintenance. Yeah, and that's, uh, I think, the most important part is in the spring, especially with the weather, you know, opportunities to play and practice on a, on a field. Especially in Sheboygan. <laughs> yeah. Well, another big battle here. A lot of pitches for Krugel in this first inning, and still nobody out. And as you know, they have a high school rule where you can only throw up to 100 pitches. That one's right over the plate. And it gets by the third baseman. That'll score two. Steger makes a big turn, has to scramble back to the bag, but he's in at first with a two-run single. And North now with three on the board and still Nobody out. Hey, 
least we got a pretty nice night so far. Hopefully the game doesn't run too long. Bennett Becker is up. He's, no, he's gonna be running for the uh, catcher. Oh, courtesy runner, Bennett Becker. Boy, that ball travels fast through the infield. Yeah, you get uh, true hops, so that, that part's pretty nice. It's more so, like the gym in the spring than, uh, I'll tell you, but once you get it on that turf, it goes, and uh, base hits are more, a little more easier. You got these speed up rules now, keep changing the game. It just took about 10 minutes to get a pinch runner. <laughs> This oh, is uh, back. Ryan Trost, the next of the best new outfielders. Extremely nice young man, hard worker, plays a lot of uh, baseball um, before coming to North. Uh, Ryan playing out in right field tonight. Yeah, his uncle played for me. Ryan? Brad. Brad, that's what I mean. Brad Trost, a really excellent pitcher for us. <laughs> I think he's uh, teaching out in Sheboygan Falls. Yeah, Brad won us a uh, sectional game. Got us to the sectional finals. I remember TV8 followed you guys to state. Yeah. Up in Appleton. Yeah. Brad beat uh, the second ranked team in the state at that time was Fond du Lac and they were loaded and they saved their best pitcher for the second game. Oops. <laughs> well, we had a young man by the name of uh, Charlie Reschke hit a, I think a grand slam or something, and they we, we just held on. Wild pitch there. Really? I put it down as a fastball. Passball, okay, <laughs> passball. What do you think, Danny, you yeah. could be the deciding vote? Yeah, you've, he scored a few games. Ball uh, drifts outside. But, uh, like I said, Ryan's a really hard worker. Baseball is his game, and uh, I expect great things for the next three years from him. Oof. Pitch is low, and ball four. Tross draws a walk, and uh, the inning continues. Three runs in. Runners now on first and second. It's still nobody out. Coming up to bat for North is uh, Ethan Schurg. 23 pitches already. Schurg playing left field tonight. The bouncing ball, the third. Third baseman oh. steps on the bag. Oh. Dylan Tim, and then he doesn't throw to first. Probably wanted to make sure. And now we have a turtle. Well, he got made sure of the one out. Like he didn't have a handle on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure that one. They're going. And they're going to get him. Oh, my. <laughs> Good throw down to third, but uh, South did not get the call there. I don't, here's a replay, Marty. Oh, I think he did beat it. That's a good call. I think he's trying to get the glove a little bit in front of the base, I think, huh? Yeah. Slid his hand in there. They're not gonna get anything off of this. Maybe they'll come to the monitor for the replay. Now they're gonna call him out. That's a strange play, Marty. Yep. Uh, what, you're an umpire, what's the, the well, ruling on that? The base umpire can help ask for help from the home plate umpire and he should be looking at the play. Uh, it's the only thing I got a problem with, and I'm sure that's what Steve Goes does, is he's way back here at home plate making a call down at third, but he actually did have a better angle at it. So, put out at third, two to five. And as we saw in the replay, it looked like he made the right call initially. Yeah, 
Hey, Scott, can we see a replay of that again? You know, it looked like the throw beat him, Marty, but Definitely. the hands got in. Yeah. And that's here, here we go. Nice play. And I thought his. You know what? I think his left hand hit the bag first, but then it went off the bag. And then he may have tagged on the, on the right hand, and uh, of course, then he would be out. But I think as a coach, you know, you want to make your opinions made and then uh, move on. This is uh, taking way too long, in my opinion. We didn't get the names of the umpires tonight. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> well, you know, like coach likes to run. Um, not a bad situation to run there. And, but uh, great throw by Colin Brennan and a nice tag. And uh, James Shearer is uh, is up. No, I think it's still no. Shearer or Shearer. Why is Shearer? He's supposed to be being DH'd for yeah. by Dominguez. Uh, Unless uh, Owen is DH'ing for Hendrixie. That's what it is. Okay. You're gonna have to change your. Uh, you think I actually do some writing? Well, I think <laughs> the de shares shares on deck. Obvious. Well, sh Share just batted. Yeah, and he struck out. And that ends the inning. At the end of a half inning of play, Sheboygan North three, North coming to bat. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Yeah, back at uh, the Field of Dreams, we're uh, Sheboygan South, and I'll take their turn at bat. North uh, coming up with three runs in the top of the first, and it could have been a lot worse. Uh, South caught a little bit of a break on a double steal uh, where the home plate umpire uh, essentially made the call on the steal at third and called the runner out after the base umpire called him safe. But uh, there you see the... Uh, North High pitcher, Nathan Hendrixie. And uh, he's going to face the leadoff hitter, Elliot Pethon. First pitch is a little bit high. Well, the key here is to throw strikes, Marty. Exactly. Especially with that pitch count, you can't afford to. And you got a lead here. and. One thing he does is gets himself in trouble with balls, but if he works ahead, he can be a very dominant pitcher. Just a bit outside. <laughs> that was, he was sending a message with that pitch. Uh, I think he misplayed a curveball. There it is. And there he goes. Swing and a miss. He strikes out Pethon. That brings up the third baseman, Dylan Tim. Dylan Tim, uh, as Jeff Tim, works in the district. Uncle is a teacher in the district. Aunt is a secretary in the district. <laughs> you are connected, Mr. Wright. 
It's just nice. a little bit outside. Very nice family. Jeff's a, dad's a really good guy. There's Steve Tim too over under the tree. That's a well hit ball. Ball hit high, to deep to left center field. Feinberg making the nice running catch. Kid can run. Made it look easy actually. Yeah, and I gotta be honest with you, it didn't look like he uh, swung hard, it just carried. So you're gonna see what happens right here, a little bit of a replay. Ball is hit deep. Oh, and we missed the catch. We'll have to work on that replay machine. The next hitter for South is Ben Soik, and he swings through a fastball, strike one. Another nice player. Had an older Soik brother is a that senior. played. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's been a few Soiks that have gone through South Eye over yep. the years. Line drive over the glove of uh, Brent Witter, a base hit with two outs for uh, the Red Wings. That's gonna bring up the pitcher, Lars Krugel. Krugel steps in, he's hitting uh, 333. Does have a double, three RBIs. Good athlete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, football, basketball, and baseball. Ball hit hard, but right at Witter. He doesn't even have to move, and he makes the catch. And at the end of one complete inning of play, North 3, South nothing. Party fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving. The ultimate party foul. We're back at the Field of Dreams on the Jerry Helmich Field, and uh, joining us is uh, Denny Moyer. Denny, let's talk a little bit about the Sheboygan A's. Uh, number one on the list has to be the lights. Uh, we had a chance to watch them at work off of uh, uh, C.J. Skelton's phone with the amp he's got on there, turning him on and off from yeah. uh, Frankie's bar at, a, at an A's meeting a couple months ago. Talk a little bit about the lights first. Well, the lights are all LEDs and they are very focused. Uh, neighbors will have no problems with them. And they hardly know they're on if they're living next door. But they are bright and it really lights up the place. It's just unbelievable. Especially after what we've been going through these last few years. You know. I don't know if I ever told you that story, Marty. We were playing in West Dallas one night. Let me know when you got it. No, go ahead. And uh, it's getting toward dusk, you know, a quarter to nine, something like that. And it's at a county park. That ball drops in fair for uh, the DH, Owen Dominguez, and uh, that's going to be a leadoff hit for the Raiders. Dominguez picking a good spot for that ball. The Bermuda Triangle, nobody could get to it. Uh, batting next is uh, number one, Nathan Hendricksy. So we're down there in West Dallas and it's getting dark. And uh, the guy doesn't show up. Krugel uh, does make the play. Get the out at uh, first base on a sacrifice bunt. Okay, Denny. So it's getting dark and uh, the guy that one of the park employees was supposed to come turn the lights on, he didn't show up. So we're hitting in the dark there in the dusk. We got five runs in the top of the top of the fourth inning. And uh, Steve Elliott, the manager runs the West Dallas team, he says, how come you guys are 
so, so able to hit in the dark like that. Oh yeah, I remember you played Wildwood Park. You're used to playing in the dark. So then, then we knew it was time to get the lights. Uh, in all honesty, Denny, I remember umpiring games there, and uh, when it got to be dusk and a little, little later, I'd always take a couple steps back if I was the uh, base umpire because it was h tough to pick up the ball. See, no, you can't see the ball. It got to be really dangerous. We didn't do this on a frill. It's, it's, it was def definitely needed, so it's, it's there now, and uh, we're trying to pay the bills, get it done. We got a new deck going up now, and. It's really yeah, that was the other thing really I was going to ask up, you about. Yeah. yeah, we got a deck on the first base side. Uh, groups can, uh, can rent that out for the night. And, oh. A pickoff attempt at second base. The throw hit uh, Dominguez right in the back, but uh, he popped right back up. Looks to be okay. You're going to see it. Krugel making a spin and throw. So a lot of improvements over there, Mario. It's, uh, it's the long and short of it, so. We should uh, also mention a little bit about player personnel. I've been uh, catching some things on Twitter about players being back, and uh, I see you have uh, Eric Schmitz back. Uh, acts as a pseudo coach and a yeah. pitcher for you. Yeah, Eric's a good one. He's, he's a right-hander, throws, throws well, and uh, comes from Whitewater. He's helping coach North. And, and He's getting, getting his workouts in while he's coaching, helping coach North. And Taylor Schwartz is coming back, so he'll help us out. And I saw Greg the other day. He said they've been practicing already. Yeah, he's been throwing, so he's he's a good player. He's a good pitcher. Harry Feinberg is the batter, by the way. He led off with a walk in the first inning and scored. Anyone else? Well, Got Derek some Lumen's, of those. Derek Lumen's a south coach. Our manager is a good pitcher. He's coming back. Benny Folger's coming back. Uh, He's a left-hander. He's a left-hander. Yeah, I know about some you know of those left-handers. know about left the good left-handers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, a couple others. We got some, we got some good pitchers. Um, John Vanderplug is going to be with us for a little while. He's playing out east uh, for most of okay. the summer, but he'll be with us for a while. He's a Sporting Falls kid. He throws pretty well, so we should have a pretty good outfit. Anybody new? Uh, a guy from, Steve, uh, from uh, Superior is coming down here. Um, I don't know if he's going to, we'll just have to see how he goes. And then we've got, uh, we've got three kids this year because of the shift in uh, playing from the high school kids shifting. We got three kids going to play with us that are going to, first going to college. Usually we got just college players. But I don't know if you know the uh, two Lechner kids from uh, Kimberly are going to play with us. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, they're going to be with us. And a, and a guy named... Uh, Lechner's a pretty good baseball name. Oh There's yeah, been some sure good is. players that have yeah. been. Yeah, those, those kids can play, I'm told. Yeah, they're both going to Central Michigan. Okay. Then there's a guy named Logan Wiedmeyer, who's a catcher at the Marietta's coming. He's a pretty good player. And I got a call today from Michigan State. They've got an infielder that lives in Milwaukee that might want to come Okay, so good. We should, we, should have, we should be pretty good. You need some of those Big Ten players to keep up with Lombard. Yeah, that's... As a matter of fact, that's how he got a hold of me. He called Lombard first. Jeff says he can't use him. <laughs> <laughs> got no room for him, so try Sheboygan. We get the castoffs. <laughs> hey, take him. Yeah. Feinberg goes down on strikes. That brings up Brent Witter. Witter uh, singled in the first and scored. Uh, he's a pretty good clutch player in these kind of situations. This Witter kid is one I'd like to have with us when he's Right. Nice looking ball. Pop up. Tim has got it for the out, number three. And uh, after an inning and a half, Norris still leads it three to nothing. Uh, Denny, before, oh, before we go to commercial break, talk a little bit about the uh, league setup for you guys. If, if things have changed in that regard. You'd always play in two leagues the last several years. What is it now? It's still two leagues. We're playing in the Wisconsin State Baseball League, which is easily the best league in the state and probably the Midwest. Uh, good teams in that league. And we're also playing in the Northeastern Wisconsin League. Uh, the problem there is we only have uh, four teams in the league, so we're not playing a lot of games. But that's a good league, too. Manash and Appleton and, and Green Bay are in there, so they're, they're good teams. So you're still looking at 40, 50 games? Yeah, I, I picked up a bunch of exhibitions this year. We got the Chicago team coming in, and we got, uh, we're got we playing Kiwaskam a couple times. They're talking about entering that Northeastern League, so everybody's okay, trying to play yeah. a couple times to see if they, how they measure up. And, yeah. So it'll be interesting. All right, good. Good. Glad to hear it. 
When is the first A's game? On Memorial Day uh, uh, weekend, that weekend, the Saturday before Memorial Day. Uh, our 5K run is in the morning. Okay, right. And the game starts at 1 o'clock, and then after the game, we've got a concert on the field, so it's going to be a big day for us. Weatherman, of course, is going to cooperate. He always does with Oh, right, 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 right. So That's uh, one of your biggest bugaboos over the oh years, geez, been the weatherman. It's, it's, it's awful. Sometimes it seems like it's the only place that's raining is at Wildwood Park. <laughs> the city's in the, you know, dry, arid heat, and we got, we got rain at Wildwood Park. But it does make the grass green. <laughs> yeah, sure does. All right, Denny, thanks a lot. I appreciate you visiting with us, and uh, good luck this season. Yeah, thanks, Marty. Up for uh, South is uh, Trey Klesig. There's a deep fly to right. Ball is off the wall. One hops the wall. Klesig rounding second. He's going to go to third. Throw comes in, and he's going to be safe at third with a triple. Hit that ball hard. Tross not able to make a play on it. There you see him rounding second. Uh, most people don't know out there, Denny Moyer is Mr. Baseball, and uh, there you see Trey. And uh, he's done a lot for Sheboygan Baseball. This is a uh, Corporal. Fly ball to center field and uh, not deep enough to score the runner at third. What number was that? 25. So he's not. Uh, yeah, I know. We'll have <laughs> to see who's up. Everything should be moved down one. No, oh, he's not on the roster. Yeah, that either. That kid's name was uh, Mason Collar. Up now is Colin Bennon, the catcher. Good athlete. He uh, excellent wide receiver for the South team. They call it a strike on that? I don't know. I was too busy looking at my scorebook, which is all messed up. This is Colin Brennan. Yes, the catcher, 33. That's a sweet curve. Yeah, that ball's right, uh, right on the outside corner. And Colin has got to put this ball in play. I mean, there's just no, you got to cut your swing down, put it in play, just there's like that. There's a ball to third, but, but uh, Nazy with a gun at third, throws him out and then uh, is able to keep the man at third, Klesig. Oh, not a good out. Oh, he did put the ball in play. You got to give him that, Chris, but yeah. uh, hit it to the wrong infielder. There you see Colin. Half swing, kind of, just putting it in play. Up next for uh, South is uh, Colin Mangan. And this would be really a big out here. Lead off triple. Two balls put in play, and you have Krugel still standing. Excuse me, Klessing still standing on third base. A great job by uh, North to, uh, if they can get this last out, to avoid allowing a run in. There's a pitch for a strike. Ball hit hard, but foul straight back. Hope you parked your car out of range. Oh, yeah. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, really? It's kind of weird. I always had a spot where I always parked, and my spot's gone. I guess that's part of the, part of the deal. <laughs> Pitch was in the dirt, but... Uh, in the turf? <laughs> uh, in the turf is right. Good play by uh, Norse catcher Hunter Steger. And he runs it full here. There we got a full count. Cameron Meyer on deck. 
He's a good player too. Bangin swung at one, now it looked high from here, and that ends the inning. No runs for South at the end of two complete, North three, South nothing. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know, I already posted it. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy, and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought, and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. talk about how with technology you can make amazing worlds. Come with me. My team and I bring the Halo world to life. Is that you? That is me. I wasn't a math genius and I knew nothing about coding. But you guys do. You guys have the power to change things. I want your job. I want you to have my job. We're back at the Field of Dreams on the Jerry Hummich Field, where uh, North leads it. Uh, leading off the inning is uh, Jacob Nazy, a single in a run back in the first inning. Uh, joining us as a color commentator is uh, Nathan Free, a junior at South High? No, I'm a senior at senior. South High. Uh, her juniors don't get to do color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what have you been seeing so far here tonight, uh, Nate? Well, um, I was in the truck and I didn't get to see a whole lot through the truck. I only got to see through the uh, two cameras, but that I saw that triple though. That was by, quite a hit yeah. by uh, the South Eye kid. Yeah. Well, that was way over his head. Krugel uh, throws it over Nazi's head back to the screen. That evens the count at one and one. Nazi's going to Parkland Community College. He's got a good throwing arm. Here's a breaking pitch for a strike. Have you uh, seen uh, South play any baseball games this year? Uh, not, not this year. I I have watched uh, some South uh, baseball games in the past two years. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell our uh, viewers a little bit what you do with the TV station, because this is the first time you've done any broadcasting. Your normal job is... Y yeah, my normal job would be graphics, but, um, well, Mr. Maloff, the director yes if I could guess comment in I said yeah you know try and change it up a little bit I'm taking the broadcasting class at South High it's a very fun class I've been doing that since my sophomore year is that open to anyone or do you have to be a uh, certain grade to get you'd have to be a sophomore and uh, looks like that guy's safe Nizzy gets an infield yep. hit Brings up uh, the catcher, Hunter Steger. We don't know, you don't know too much about those guys. The I North kids. Yeah, no. <laughs> Jody Brooks in the house. His son Ethan is on the uh, North High team. Ooh, line drive right up the middle. Flip over to second for the out, but uh, the turn at uh, is the throw to first is off the mark. So Steger may reaches on a fielder's choice. 
What are you doing next year, uh, Nathan? Oh man, I uh, I honestly really don't have an idea. First, I was originally my I was planning on going to the North uh, Northeastern Wisconsin Technical College for broadcasting, but then when I was talking with my parents, um, I was planning on either going like like to LTC for one year for my gen ed, and then going down to Milwaukee for broadcasting for two. It was either that for a degree down in Milwaukee or get a diploma in the same things up in Green Bay. There's a drive deep to left, but that's gonna go way foul. A good swing of the bat that time by Ryan Tross. Tross uh, reached on a walk and uh, was thrown out at third on a bit of a controversial play. I don't know if you saw that at all, Nathan. They originally called him safe and then uh, he ended up calling him out. Yeah. You gotta give you gotta give it to these umpires. They're looking at this at the regular speed of the game, and you gotta just make you just gotta have your best judgment on that. And then once you make that call, you might have some, uh, second thoughts. Breaking ball is high. Good throw by Brennan down to second, but. Uh, He's safe. Not in time, so give uh, Steger a stolen base. Coach Goes likes to run a lot and uh, continuing to do that. Yeah. I actually took a tour of the NWTC a couple months ago. It's a, it's a very nice campus. A lot of it's been remodeled. Is that down in Milwaukee, you said? Uh, no, Green Bay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I took a tour of the Green Bay one. But yeah, with the um, with the Milwaukee Technical uh, College down there, you get a chance to work at the PBS station down there. Good. That'd be a nice opportunity. Yeah. You know, you could also have opportunities here in Sheboygan if you went to UW Sheboygan yeah. and uh, work at the station here. That's also a possibility as well. I'm just exercising all my options. Mitch Gardner in the house. Mitch, a former North player, plays with the A's amongst some other teams. I love going to A's games every summer. Yeah, they're. Uh, it's a good time for sure. Yeah. Ball straight back by Tross. Two and two is the count. Breaking ball again. He's gonna get there. Oh. Uh, not able to make the scoop was the uh, first baseman. Soik. That'll put uh, runners on uh, second and third, it looks like. Yeah. Or that runner on second come around and score. And it's still 3 nothing, but I think, I think it went from... Yep, just put the runners on at second yeah. and third. The yep. runner on that was on second, Steger held at third. Yeah. And the foul tick by uh, Ethan Scherg. Oop. Truss lost his uh, helmet trying to run to second. Got it back. Another swing and a miss. Krugel gets two quick strikes on the left fielder for North. Scherg reached on a fielder's choice. Back in the first inning, stole second, and uh, that's where he ended up when the inning was done. Pitch rode up high and in, and uh, Scherg couldn't get the bat out of the way. All right, what are you gonna throw now? Got no balls and two strikes on the batter. Yeah. 
bouncing ball to the first baseman. He's gonna get the out at first, barely, but a run does score. So they get three unassisted, and an RBI North now leads four to nothing. Tross moves up to third base. Good to bat that time, got the ball on the, yeah. got the bat on the ball, got a run in. James uh, Scherer is up, the first baseman for North. Great, uh, great awareness. Cameron Meyer over at uh, short for uh, South High. Had a nice play behind the bag to get a force out at second. Uh, had a little trouble on a long throw over to first just before. Shears balls that one straight back. I might just have to knock on wood here, but I'm thankful I've never been hit by a bat or a ball ever. Really, I think it's about time, Nathan. No. <laughs> yeah. Been to A's games, Brewers games. I think it's more special if you're standing in the batter's box and you get plunked. The field here at uh, Field of Dreams is interesting because you got like about one half of it is like AstroTurf and the other half is like grass. From uh, the infield, what would be the infield dirt towards us behind home plate. That's uh, Ron Miller giving you that shot. That's all artificial turf, even in fall territory. Anything to the outfield side of what would be normally the infield dirt is all grass. And uh, that's how they set it up. I had an opportunity a few years ago, Nathan, to uh, umpire a game at Whitefish Bay. And they basically had the same setup, infield turf and outfield grass. Another pitch, rides high, and that uh, leads to a walk. We have two outs, runners on first and third. Owen Dominguez is up. Dominguez uh, got a blue pit down the right field line, his first trip up. Dominguez normally plays second base and short tonight, he's the DH. Ball is high. I think Chris Wright, you know, he coached baseball over at uh, North for uh, 30 years and uh, he'd have had that guy running on the first pitch. <laughs> is that right now? Is that right, Chris? He'd be standing at second. Last pitch was a ball, it's 2-0. Oh. They get a good shot. Krugel comes in with a strike, makes the count two balls and one strike. We have two outs, North on top, four to nothing. Nathan Free is a uh, color man now. Chris taking a little bit of a break. Gave him a chance to put his coat on. It is getting a little more chilly out yeah, here. Yeah, it was about 60 degrees earlier. The sun was shining, it was nice. Now it's just a little gloomy. Rain is rolling in. Hopefully it'll hold off till we're done here this afternoon. And uh, <laughs> the runner for Nora Shear was in no hurry to get the second base on the steal attempt. I think what they wanted to do was get in a rundown, but South was having none of it. Now we got runners on second and third and two outs. Ball hit foul down the right field line. So I'm looking at the radar right now and some rain's moving in from Fond du Lac. Yeah, it's getting close, Nathan. Yeah. We'll have to work hard to get this game in. Another ball hit foul. <coughs> we have a couple games left on the schedule. I believe uh, they are the 14th of May and the 21st of May. A couple of Tuesdays coming up. 
abbreviated schedule this year, only three games. Ball just missed up high. Uh, hopefully we can uh, get a tournament game or two if uh, North or South get, uh, get a home game. Bouncing ball to third and uh, goes foul. Good thing for South because uh, Dominguez would have beaten that out and uh, the runner at third, Tross, had already crossed the plate. So for now, it does save South a run. Yeah, a run. Well, what if you're Krugel, what are you gonna throw this batter? Fastball or curveball? Whoa, that was way too high. It was a fastball, but it was up and in, and that loads the bases. And that brings up uh, the second baseman. Nathan Hendricksy. That was a little high. Yeah, not a good one there. Kruger's got to start coming in with strikes. The Pitch count is piling up too. I don't know if you know, Nathan. Pitchers are limited to 100 pitches and they have to be taken out. That pitch is in there, evens the count at one and one. Yeah, sometimes you might get a little, a little uh, happy with your pitches. Reach 100 and you're done. Hendricksy uh, with a swing and a miss. Makes the count one ball and two strikes. Krugel one pitch away from getting out of it. Hopefully. Yeah, North has scored one in the inning. They lead it four to nothing. That pitch is uh, right down the middle and falls straight back. Ron Miller running the camera behind home plate. He's got it lined up with that uh, Little opening in the in the link gives us a good shot at the umpire, the catcher, and the batter. Yep, and right the pitch next. right there for strike three. One run in the inning after uh, two and a half innings. It's a north four, south nothing. arthritis, it can be a painful reminder of all the things you can't do. Let's get a grip on arthritis. You can help by donating at arthritis.org. Some chores you dread. You do them. But that doesn't mean you're happy about it. And there's registering with the Selective Service. If you're a young man turning 18, the law says you have to register. It'll keep you eligible for college loans, government jobs, and training, and it only takes two minutes, which makes it not only your most important chore, but the easiest. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov or the local post office. Whatever you want. <laughs> uh, so we're back here, Field of Dreams, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And a hit down the middle. Base hit for Cameron Meyer. And uh, we are in the bottom of the third, and finally. South has gotten through the order, and that brings the leadoff hitter up, the left fielder, Elliot Pethen. He uh, struck out his first time up. Pitches a strike by uh, Peyton Voigt. Uh, 
it's a strike. On one. One one count. Just pitch. That one was a little too high. What, or was it? One ball and two strikes. Two and two. Uh, two it's two and two now. Pitch is right there for strike three. Called strike. Peyton Voigt doing a good job of keeping the base runner. Dylan Tim Cameron is up. Meyer close. Yeah, go ahead. Cameron Meyer still on first base. He reached on a single to uh, center field. Got one out. There you see uh, Cameron, number five, playing shortstop today. That's 1-1 one, one count now. So Nathan, if you were in the truck, would you be uh, running this portion yeah. down in the lower right yeah. corner? The score and it, the count and the inning and all that? Exactly. I mean, I am i don't mind doing it manually, but if we had, if the score bot was compatible with the, the with scoreboard, the, with the scoreboard, it would make life a little bit easier, but you know, it's still the dreams. That one was a little too high. Line drive base the, hit to left. Meyer will have to hold it second, but a good hit by uh, Tim. Very good hit. Ben Soik is up. That hit went over Nisi's head. Both runners seem to be taking conservative leads for South. Pitch in the dirt. Steger making a great play. Keep the ball in front of him, not allowing the runners to move up. Meyer was thinking about it, but then he was like, nah, I'm just gonna head back. Eric Schmitz, the uh, pitching coach for uh, North, coming out to talk to uh, Peyton meeting. Voigt. What do you think the coach is telling him? To be honest, I really don't have an idea. How about throw strikes? Yeah. <laughs> Soik, Soik stepping back into the batter's box. He uh, got a base hit his first time up. Back at the first. It's a pitch up high. It's a 2-0. To be honest, I think, I'm, I, I think I meant Peth and not Meyer out in second. Really can't see the numbers from out yeah, here. Yeah, Cameron Meyer is on, uh, is on second base. Oh, he is? Nathan and... Uh, Tim is uh, over yep. at uh, first. Soik draws a walk and that loads him up with uh, nobody out, with one out, pardon me, for uh, South and their number four hitter, Lars Krugel. Let's go. <laughs> You're ready to rock and roll, huh? Oh man, if he hits a home run, guess what? That would tie up the score. Kind of stating the obvious there, but. Got to kick start south. Yeah. Ball hit down the right field line. It uh, drops foul. Oh, man. Looking over uh, by the north dugout, they don't seem to have anyone warming up that we can see. 
So for now, they're gonna be sticking with uh, Peyton Voigt. Voigt has uh, pitched a very good game so far. He's in trouble now, however. There's a pitch in there for a strike. 0-2? Oh yes. Pitch in the dirt. Good stop by Steger. What do you think's going through Lars's mind right now? Make contact. Just put the bat on the ball. South had an excellent opportunity back in the second inning with a leadoff triple, triple by Klesig, but they were not able to get him in. There's a high ball, high fly ball. And Nazi called off Steger and he couldn't make the play. Krugel stays alive. That may be the most exciting fall ball I've ever seen in my life. That ball just sailed up in the air. Normally on a play like that, uh, you'd like the third baseman to uh, take it. You got a little better glove for catching those kind of balls, but Steger actually got on the ball first and uh, maybe he should have just taken it. I give props to him. There's a pop up again in foul territory. And Steger makes a catch, what a play. Oh my. Wow. Off the fence and into his glove. Well, if it would have been off the fence, it would have been a foul ball. Oh, Wouldn't yeah. have counted. Yeah, but but uh, Coach I, Lumens I, I, is coming over and saying that's exactly what happened. Yeah, and, uh, I was going to say, because I, I, I saw the ball hit the fence. Looks like he's, looks like he's not going to win this one. He is not. And it's going to leave it up to uh, Trey Klesig. Klesig got a triple, his uh, other trip up. The Back lefty. in the second. We get Mr. Wright back on the mic. I'm gonna ask him what he saw over there in fall territory. Yeah. Oh, no count. Ball two. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame Coach Lumens for that. Definitely not. That pitch is in there for a strike, makes it two balls and one strike. North on top, four to nothing. Another pitch right down the middle. I think Klesig would like to have that pitch back. Klesic swings oh, at a ball, and that ends the inning. Peyton Voigt works out of a bases loaded jam, and the score remains north, four, south, nothing. Mom and Dad used to argue about everything, especially about Dad's drinking. My family went from totally crazy to quiet, calm, and even peaceful when mom started going to Al-Anon family groups. I wanted a better relationship with dad, so I asked mom if she would take me to her Al-Anon meetings or to Alateen. I'm sure glad I did. If someone's drinking troubling you, you might be surprised at what you can learn in an Al-Anon or Alateen family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to Al-Anon. them, sparks from dragging tow chains can cause a wildfire, and that could be scary. Only you can prevent wildfires. We're back at the Field of Dreams, and uh, just looking at my scorebook, Chris, uh, through three innings, North, pardon me, South has uh, left 
five guys on base. They uh, not been able to come through with the big hit, but uh, talk a little bit about that foul ball. Uh, Nathan thought it hit the fence. I couldn't tell. What did you see? I thought it ricocheted off too, and uh, tough call. But again, Coach Loomis, you know, I like him, but he's been out to argue three calls already. <laughs> and I you know, I think the umpires are just gonna be set in their ways, and you know, there too, maybe ask for help again there if you needed it, uh, would have been the right thing. That's the 73rd pitch there, uh, Marty, for Krugel, and we're in the fourth inning. That's a lot. You want to be at about 45 at this point. And they're finally, finally going to retire the, the leadoff hitter, Marty, on a little pop-up. Three innings, Norris had the leadoff guy on. Yeah, it was Feinberg with a walk in the first, Dominguez with a single in the second, and uh, Nazi with a single Man, in the third. Feinberg's been a great leadoff hitter. He's seen 17 pitches already. There's a hard ball right to uh, Meyer at short, showing off the gun. Gets Witter at first on a nice play. Had a pretty clean game today too, Chris. I've only got... Uh, both teams with one error, and that was a throwing error by uh, Meyer. Yep, I, I as well. And uh, boy, his pitch count up high there, and this inning is three pitches, and you're on your fourth batter. This is just what Krugel needs here to keep his team in. Nazi up, he uh, has a couple of singles. How about another? a line drive past the second baseman. In the center field for a hit. Make it a double. Nazi goes the extra base and gets in there. Heads up base running by uh, Jacob. That was in the gap, backhanded play. Hunter Steger up. He uh, singled in a run back in the first inning, reached on a fielder's choice in the third and scored. Did have a stolen base. This ball is uh, hit straight back for a foul. Bars with nothing but strikes here in the fourth, Marty. Yeah, he's uh, finding the strike zone, no doubt about that. Temperature has uh, oh dropped. Considerably. Typical Sheboygan. I remember having a. Well, you've played you know, or coached here <laughs> enough, and I've umpired here enough to know that yeah. uh, in a heartbeat, the yep. wind can change, and all of a sudden it goes from a very nice day to something that's pretty brutal. Yeah. That's what we're getting here. People watching at home think it's wonderful out, and basically it is, but it is a little bit chilly too. Oh, once, once I mentioned Lars with nothing but strikes, he throws two balls here. You have first base open. Yeah, two balls and one strike on the hitter. Can uh, still attack here. You'll want to be smart to a four, four hitter. The bouncing ball to Meyer, he's got it. Double clutch, but uh, right to Soik for the out, and that ends the inning. Good inning for South. They retire north at the end of three and a half. North still leads it four to nothing. not your charity case. I am not your excuse to buy a new dress for the annual fundraiser. I am not the poster child for your big donation. I am out of debt and in my own home. I am off opioids. I'm graduating on time and on my way to a great job. I am. I am. We are. We are. We are. What it means to live united.
Getting ready to start the bottom of the fourth inning. Uh, Peyton Voigt has pitched a heck of a game. Chris, he's been able to get himself out of some pretty dicey jams. Yeah, he's given up four hits, but uh, no damage. 48 pitches unofficially I have him at. And uh, he starts with basically the bottom of the order, six, seven, eight for South. Mason Collar is going to lead it off. Mason steps in. He uh, hitting 167. It's 0 for 1 in the ball game. Flew out to center field. And uh, Coach Goes probably wants him to get through this a little quick, just in case the rain starts, so he can get through four half innings. And as he does, he throws two uh, balls. Got to get through five. Five. The South is home tra trailing, yeah. Well, and South is home team, so you yep, have to give yep. them their fifth at bat yep. anyway. Fourth, yep. Looping liner to uh, Brent Witter, and he makes an easy play on it. That brings up the uh, catcher for uh, South, Colin Brennan. Brennan grounded out to third. Back in the second inning when... Uh, South had a leadoff triple by uh, Trey Klesig and uh, they were not able to get him in. Chris, you mentioned how you gotta put the bat on the ball and he did, but he hit <laughs> to a bad option in uh, Jacob Nazy. Yeah. There's a good shot of uh, Voigt. Breaking ball is up high. Voigt uh, plays a little uh, First and short, he's made four relief appearances so far and has done really quite well. So making a start here in the North-South game. Brennan with a hit, there's Voigt. Just out of the reach there of Hendricks, base hit. Brings up uh, Colin Mangan. Off attempt, not in time. Mang is only a sophomore. Chris uh, was moved up from the uh, JV team for uh, the ball game tonight. Well, they're short on numbers, Marty, and so South's JV is basically uh, non-existent because they've been <laughs> playing behind us and. Uh, Tomorrow North Taxi plays, squad. Yeah, I was gonna say tomorrow <laughs> North travels to or plays home for Plymouth. Plymouth uh, uh a real nice. Okay. Oh, column safe at second. Dropped it. Now I, I, I'll be real honest with you. When he made the call, look at this. Coach goes was already halfway out if he'd have been called, you know, if you wouldn't have seen the drop ball, and I just, you know. Too much pickering, but he gets the play anyway. We get a stolen base, but an out. Yeah, but an out. That's absolutely uh, right. I think it was a uh, poor Hendrick choice team. there to take off to try to run to third, trailing. Yeah, by four. By four runs. I think Hendricks he made the tag. Not a good decision at no. all. Got to play the situation. Down by four runs. Wasn't like it was in the outfield either. No, right. Hey, you don't run on uh, some of these north infielders. They have great arms. Well, it's just, it's just not a good decision there. Now you get a walk. Could have had runners on first and second with one out. Yep. Instead, it's a runner on first with two outs, and your number nine hitter. Cameron Meyer up. Cameron uh, did get a hit back in the third. Yep. Thank Denny Meyer for uh, stopping over by the table and telling us uh, a little bit about the ballpark and uh, Boygan A's season coming up. And uh, month away. He vaguely mentioned it, but. Uh, Kind of a big deal is this uh, 5K run that they do. It's uh, been a good fundraiser for them, and uh, hopefully they'll be successful again this year. Fun runs are very popular, and having it over the Memorial Day weekend. And 
Sheboygan Public Education Foundation also sponsors a 5K run walk down at uh, Valrath Park. And uh, that happens on uh, June 8th. Next day is uh, graduation down there. So you might want to consider that uh, run also. And you got the two uh, pictures I sent you? Yep. <laughs> Updated on Valrath and of Valrath's tennis courts. Uh, doesn't look like a whole lot's been going on there. They got all the fencing down, but they haven't done anything with the surface. Apparently the plan is put in two tennis courts and then on the other side put in three pickleball courts, with, which makes Chris doubly happy. <laughs> on the run and a swing and a miss by Meyer ends the inning for South and we're uh, four innings through and North leads it four to nothing. You're a busy man when you turn 18. But with all you've got going on, don't forget to register with Selective Service. It's the law. It only takes about two minutes to register at sss.gov. And you can do it without even looking up from your phone, just like that. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov. With Mother's Finances, I wish we had discussed this sooner. It's difficult making decisions for mom. With dad gone, a lot has changed. Seeing my parents age, I worry about their financial decisions. As we age, our ability to make good financial choices decreases. Start the conversation today and plan for the future. Financial resources and tools are available at smartaboutmoney.org, a non-commercial organization focused on your financial success. Getting ready to start the top of the fifth. This is an important inning, Chris, uh, given the weather forecast. That was your key to talk. Well, I, ag <laughs> I agree with you. I know, I, I agree. It is an important in inning. And I thought you were going to tell the, the fans the rule about getting five innings in and all this. <laughs> no, I thought we mentioned before, but that no, was a very good point. At first I heard uh, rain around six. And uh, this, this game is kind of dragging, so yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully uh, we'll get it all in. And as we mentioned in the last inning, it's very typical of Sheboygan to do this cold weather. And we knew the rain was coming. They, you know, they called for rain pretty much all day, so just glad to get an opportunity, period. Fly ball out to right. And the catch is made out there by uh, Jake Leonard. Ryan Tross there. Uh, my uh, phone says 5.39, which uh, game started at 4.30. That means it's an hour old. Uh, don't you think that's pretty good, four innings in an hour? Well, yeah, four innings four in innings, an hour. Yeah, in an hour. I don't think that's too bad. No. Well, we in the dirt. One pitch went out to uh, Tross. And he that sure last half inning went pretty quick, too, for... Uh, or was that the inning before that with uh, Klesig getting Feinberg and Witter and then uh, getting Steger for the third out after a single by Nasey or a double by him? And uh, North leads four to nothing. Lucky to be ahead four to nothing. Uh, they've had a, an opportunity to, with bases loaded. South had an opportunity with bases loaded. Neither team could clutch up. And uh, the more they hang in there, South, you never know. Especially if the pitch counts start going up. And uh, one thing South's going to be having to worry about is getting a new pitcher in there. As Lars is running out of pitches. Sure uh, swings at a bad pitch there. Evens the count at two and two. Yeah, one out in the uh, fifth inning. On deck is James Shear. Ethan in the drum line, Marty. I didn't know that. Nice play. Good throw by the third baseman for uh, for South, Dylan Tim. Very nice play. Went after it. A lot of people like to wait back. He went after it because it was slowly hit. Turf probably helped him there. The grass oh. probably would have been an infield hit. 
took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say the turf helped him on that one, I thought. James Shear hit a home run against the pier the other day. Oh, wow. A little too much too late for North. They were trailing 8-1 to one going in the bottom of the seventh. They rallied with three. And uh, Too little, too late. Yeah, had, had some threatening, right, but uh, unfortunately fell a little short. Pier leading the, the league. They are undefeated, ranked eighth in the conference. Very strange conference this year. Uh, Pier, as I mentioned, 6-0. and Bayport and Preble 4-2. and Preble, a preseason number one ranking. They have really? outstanding pitching, an outstanding hitter in Max Wagner. Uh, but they can't seem to score right now. And, uh, Isn't it funny how those things go? I mean, they you know, lost that squad one to nothing. And uh, I mean, there's no question who the better team is. But uh, in baseball, you never know. You can hit the balls right to the. Uh, when the, we were uh, in uh, Arizona, we would try to follow as best we could what's happening back home by reading the press. And uh, gosh, they had an article in the paper about high school baseball when uh, North had that dynamic rally yep. to uh, win a game in the bottom of the seventh. Yep, against Appleton West. And there's a shot. Base hit for sure. Yeah, they rallied from eight down to get nine. There being no hit through the sixth. Uh, that pitcher did not throw the seventh, and that's uh, when North rallied for nine. Owen Dominguez is uh, up next. We're going to get a change of pitchers, coach. All righty. You got. Uh, Why don't you take us to a commercial break for a bit, uh, Scott, and then when we come back, we'll uh, update some of these changes. The police called after midnight when they caught our son at a drinking party. It was a real wake-up call. A policeman suggested we try Al-Anon family groups. I didn't want to go to a meeting, but I'm glad I did. Are you troubled by someone else's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn. family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or go to alanon.org. Four out of five women with ovarian cancer will experience recurrence. It's often incurable. Until recently, following chemotherapy, women with recurrent ovarian cancer had to simply watch and wait for their disease to come back. Well, we say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. With maintenance therapies, women can delay recurrence. Awareness of your choices empowers you. Take an informed and active role. Visit notonmywatch.com. Nothing hurts my mom, but she showed anyway. We were trained to help others, but there's strength in finding help for yourself too. We're in this together. Even the toughest of us might not know where to go to get a little support. The VA Women Veterans Call Center connects veterans with personalized information on VA services that can make a difference. Call 1-855-VA-WOMEN or visit www.womenshealth.va.com. We've all seen that moment in movie credits that says no animals were harmed in the making of this film. As a film director, I rely on the eight decades of experience American Humane brings to safeguarding animals on set. They consult on scripts, advise on locations, training, veterinary care, and so much more. As a director, nothing is more important than making sure everyone is safe, and that includes the animals on set as well. And thanks to the passionate people of American Humane, we can. There you see uh, the new pitcher for South. It's a uh, Colin Brennan who was catching. Moving from first base to catcher is Ben Soik. And uh, also in the ball game is uh, number 28, John Meyer. He's uh, moving over to first base. A number of changes for uh, South. I was trying to see where uh, Lars Krugel went to Chris. Did you notice where he went? Well, that's Tim Moyer scoring for North. He was actually out on the field. Come on, 
Lars Krugel going to short. Kohler's out of the game and John Meyer. Brennan, the uh, catcher, we got that, is pitching now. Mangan. Yeah. All right, let's go through this. Soik moves from first to catching. Krugel goes from pitching to short. Uh, John Meyer comes in for uh, Mason Collar and is going to play first base. Brennan went from catcher to pitcher, makes his first pitches outside. Throw down, not in time. We got a stolen base. Mangan went from second to right, and uh, Cameron Meyer went from uh, shortstop over to second. Sure with a stolen base. We got two outs in the top of the fifth. Dominguez up, takes a strike. You know, for one pitching change, Chris, it's a lot of position changes. Another pitch right on the outside corner. Makes the count uh, one ball and two strikes. Dominguez uh, singled back in the second, walked in the third. And swings through a fastball to end the inning. At the end of four and a half, North still leads it four to nothing. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. <sighs> but now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome. We need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Hey, we missed you at the game last week. Is everything all right? Hey, uh, you just haven't been feeling like me lately. You know I'm here for you, right? That's a cut. Beautiful. Acting is one thing. Talking about suicide in real life is another. In the military, you take challenges head on. And now it's your turn to do the same for our veterans. Be there. Learn how you can start the conversation at BeThereForVeterans.com. And you can see them there bundled up here at the Field of Dreams. Uh, the wind has changed, wind direction. And let me tell you something, Marty. Just like on TV, our filter is a lot lighter than what it actually is out here. Ah, it's great getting point. dark. Yeah, get, good point. It's getting really dark. I mean, it's, you know, it's tough to see, but that camera there makes it look, it says it's 55 and cloudy, but the feels like temperature is probably 41. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hate to bring this up, Chris, but uh, Coach Lumens did give us some stats. Pethon steps, you know, when we started tonight's game, he was batting 062, and he's got two strikeouts tonight. Uh, it's been a tough season for that young man. Hopefully he can... Uh, pick it up a little bit right here. Starting the fifth inning for uh, North is uh, their starter, Peyton Voigt. He's uh, pitched a good ball game. Pitch count for the inning he's in is uh, in good shape. Yeah, for the most 67 part. unofficially. I always like to say, you know, if you can go 15 an inning or less, but unfortunately that'll get you over the limit. And that's what happened the other night to uh, North, unfortunately. Ben Vorpal was one batter away from a no-hitter. Oh, and he ran out, out of pitches. Oh, early strikeout there. Third strikeout for Bethan. Um, and that's unfortunate with the rules. Like I said, I always think the rules should be about 110, maybe. Um, be a little more fair, because that way you can you know, have an inning of 17 or something and still complete it. Dylan Tim is up. Uh, Tim hitting 333 coming into the ball game. That's gone up with uh, his one for two. He's singled back in the third. And I and I know that personally, there's teams that do take a lot of pitches just to get those numbers up to get that starting up. It changed the way the game has been played, um, especially the first time through the order. He'll take pitches and you know get that count on because you want to get to that bullpen. Good. 
Makes and, it uh, even more important for the uh, pitchers to be throwing strikes right away. And what we were afraid was gonna happen is starting to happen. It's not raining. <laughs> And that's a walk to Tim. He's reached with uh, one out in the top of the bottom of the fifth, pardon me. Ben Soik is up. Soik is uh, singled and walked. Chris came with his tarp. I've coached uh, before. Coach Van Vagel is the tarp master. You guys had the tarp out that one time when you fried for the old timers. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Uh, Coach Van Vago coached with me for 25 years, would be the tarp guy. He was new to bring tarps and blankets and things. Even when we golf now, we don't play, we don't coach, we play golf in a golf league. Soik got hit, that puts two runners on with only one out. He brings towels and blankets and, and our towels and rags and even when we golf, he's always got us prepared. Getting dampness on my papers. Lars Krugel is up. Krugel uh, now playing short. A lot of people standing over by the north dugout. It's a drive out to right field. It's short. Coming in is Tross. He makes a dive. Drop he cannot it. catch it. It's in for a hit, and that loads the bases up again for the Red Wings. And as I mentioned, uh, this is a big inning. They've threatened, they have threatened South. They've been in scoring position before none, but here again with just one out, you have the five, six, seven guys coming up. Gonna be a new hitter though on deck though, Marty. Klesig is up, he had a triple earlier, but he struck out in a clutch situation back in the third. He's hoping to come through right now. He's one for two on the night. Yeah, he stranded the bases loaded once, but he did have that triple, you're right. Coming into the ball game tonight, uh, Trey was hitting 217. Did have three doubles, however. Drive down the right field line is way full. Evens the count at one and one. Some throwing going on out of the north side. I don't know if he's gonna pitch or. Kind of a half swing there by Klesik just to get bat on the ball and uh, fouled it off. Makes it one ball and two strikes. Austin Slovinsky warming up. He's a nice kid too, Dawson. He and Peyton, good buddies. The ball is in the dirt. Steger with a good stop. Keeps it in front of him. Evens the count at two and two. Got 83 pitches now for Peyton. Done a great job tonight. Yeah, John Meyer is uh, the uh, the new on deck hitter for uh, Mason Collar. Who, uh, came out of the game and that pitch is up high and that loads the count along with the bases. Uh, Voigt's got to throw a strike, Chris. <laughs> and that pitch rides up high for a bases loaded walk and Salt has their first run. And goes Coach Steve goes coming out. Talk to his pitcher. He's got a new hitter. Keep him in there. Be confident. And pitch out of the windup or the stretch, wherever you feel comfortable. You have one out. John, Brand new hitter. Yeah, John Meyer, according to this, is uh, hitting uh, 222. Uh, limited at bats, only a seven at bats. That's not right. He can't get a 222 batting average with seven at bats. One for 11, one for seven. Two for nine would be two for nine. Two for nine. According to this, he's got seven at bats. 
Actually, he doesn't have a batting average, Chris. Okay. He's at zero. That was his on-base percentage. He's looking for his first hit of the season. Again, new hitter. He can get out of it. Steve Go is showing a lot of uh, confidence in the uh, Voight. I think that was also to kind of give Dawson a little extra time to warm up. And the drops are getting bigger. Many years ago, Chris, we were doing a basketball game out at Lakeland College, and I don't remember who the baseball coach was. But uh, he gave you a hooded sweatshirt, and you John said, Can Weber? I? John Weber, and you said, could, could I have one for my buddy, my, <laughs> my announcing partner? And you got me one. I'm wearing it tonight, and it's doing a great job. Three Keeping and me oh, warm. Three and oh, I think, is the count. Swing and a miss by uh, Meyer. Might have been wrong there. Might be 2 1. Two, I think it's 2 and 2. He's got to put the ball in play. Got to focus. He doesn't. And Meyer swings late on that pitch and strikes out. We now have two outs. And Colin Brennan up. Now Brennan single his last time up. It's one for two in the ball game. And he's capable. He's got the athletic ability and the baseball talent. Ball off the uh, Stager's met for strike one. Had a good rip at it though. Four to one is the score. Tying run is on first. Breaking ball is up high. No place to put him. Pitch in the dirt, gets away from Steger. All the runners are gonna move up and scoring from third is Pethon. Pardon me, Soik scoring on a wild pitch. And there the pitcher's gotta help him and tell him where it is located, but. Uh, and that one, and that one should have been, if that was the right pitch, they're gonna put Brennan on. That's a good decision. I think that's a really good decision. Intentional walk to Colin Brennan. And that brings up uh, the right fielder, Colin Mangan. You have the eight hitter up. He's got a clutch up. Voight does the right thing by attacking with a strike. Base hit could tie the game, Marty. Yeah, tying runs on second now. I'm sending him. I don't care what the deal is. The rain is coming bigger, Marty. Given the uh, artificial uh, turf, Chris, they'd be able to play pretty long into the rain. I don't know how long we can do that. <laughs> no. Pitch in the dirt, makes it uh, two balls in one strike. Voigt cannot walk another batter. The bases are loaded. There are two outs. Mangan one for two. He walked and I back in the fourth, and uh, he's, uh, he's on pace to draw another walk. Yeah, he's he's in, he's a little tired now. Long inning, long inning. That was a good pitch and a good decision to swing. And here we go, the runners are gonna be moving now, Marty. Yeah, they'll be on the move, you're right. Two outs, bases loaded, south down two. Right down Main oh, Street. Oh boy, gotta swing the bat, make something happen. Called strike three, but uh, south does come up with two. And at the end of five complete, it's north four, south two. change the world. Yeah, you, getting that college education. I dare you to be somebody important. Like be a teacher. Or a reality TV star. I dare you to stand up here. To call the shots. To be a role model. An inspiration. An innovator. To be a teacher. Think you can change my life? Make me excited about science like you. Have a career that really means something? Then do it. I dare you.
We had mentioned uh, prior to the start of the game, Chris, that uh, don't be <laughs> don't be down about Saul's one and six record. They got a pretty nice team, and uh, as you can see tonight, they are battling all the way, and uh, have kept this game close. Should have beat Southwest. Lost two other games to Manitowoc, who's having a very nice season by yeah, one. Yeah, th those were walk-off wins by those two and, clubs. And, uh, uh, so they're hanging in there with North. North's had plenty of opportunities as well to score runs. They've stranded, uh, as Marty's mentioned before, seven guys as well. Uh, they start off with Nathan Hendricksy, though, and then the top of the order. See if they can get a hold of our relief pitcher Colin Brennan. Uh, North will have a new pitcher as well since that was 98 pitches unofficially for Peyton Voigt. Voigt doing a good job of working out of uh, trouble and two out of the three. Allowed a couple of runs in that last thing, but uh, overall you'd have to give him positive marks for his pitching performance. Maybe a few less walks. Pitches a strike. very important for Colin to get back in. No walks. Walks are hurt, gonna hurt you, and that's what's been the case for both pitchers tonight. Voight struck out the side last inning, Chris. If uh, that was his last inning, he uh, finished the night with uh, five walks and eight strikeouts. Yeah, Slavovsky will be coming in to pitch. And, uh, pitch off a little bit, evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Hendricksy is uh, sacrificed back in the second and struck out in the third. Ground ball to second. Nice play over there. Gets the first out of the sixth inning. Well, we mentioned Freiburg, who's coming up here. He's a uh, leadoff hitter, great speed. He took 17 pitches, 15 in his first two at-bats, and then two in his next at-bat, but he's part of the, the reason Krugel uh, wore down and had to be removed. Really good leadoff hitter, great speed. Holds that bat up high. Brennan's pitch is uh, just a little bit off the outside corner. They called it a strike, though. No, I, well, I, I, don't I don't know. know. He, he kind of raised his hand. He, Maybe it's what I don't like about this particular umpire is I've watched him throughout the game, Chris. He's got a lot of extraneous motions with his arms. You know, I like to see it. Call a strike, and that's it. Don't raise that right hand when oh, you're Oh, they're going to say he got a hit. Oh, that's... Uh, Got to hurt. Well, and now you put the speed at second, and I would think within a couple pitches as the drops keep getting bigger, the the uh, the uh, yeah, he's going to be standing on second base quite quickly. Brent Witter is up next for. Uh, I don't know what Raiders. they're talking about because you're not going to do anything to Witter because Witter's not going to bunt. Yeah. And second. Uh, they may try to pitch out, but Freiburg, they know, runs well. Yeah, um, Witter is one for three. He singled and scored back in the first inning, and then he popped a third and uh, grounded to short his other two trips. So he's hit the ball every time. The rain is coming down a little, little harder. As we move along, it's uh, getting a little bit worse. They're going to try to keep him close, but uh, senior... Great base runner. I like the Sox. Old school. Give me the stirrup. And you, didn't, you didn't notice that, did you? <laughs> no. I saw the strike, but I didn't realize the stirrup's there. There you go, and there you get a good shot at it. Got the three stripes on the uh, team sock. Stirrup showing you. Look at most of the other players, they got their uh, pants like all the way down to their shoes. There's a strike. Makes yeah. it one and one. Yeah, the thing is you have Witter and Nazy, two of the best hitters in the entire league. Oh. 
Freiburg running and he's going to be in there easily. Oh, he fell off the bag though. Umpire still calls him safe. Oh, wow. We get a timeout. Not a very good slide into the base. You know, that's something else we haven't talked about sliding on artificial turf, Driss. A little different than on dirt. Last pitch was a strike, makes it one ball and two strikes with the runner on second. Witter squares one up. On the right. And a nice catch made. Oh, oh he dropped the ball. That'll score a run. Call him safe. What do you give Witter on that, Chris? A double. Double on an RBI, first RBI for Witter. Closer play at the plate than I expected, Mark. Yeah, me too. Much closer, actually. I thought the uh, umpire was pretty emphatic with a safe call. I don't know why there was a question. The score is now five to two, North. They're, uh, First run since the uh, third inning. And now you have to deal with Nazy, and that's all yeah, because of the hit on. by pitch. You exactly. know, walks and hit by pitches and free bases lead to runs, which you can't afford to do, and it's really raining now. You know, we talked about Nazy being cleared right before the game to be able to play. He's a <laughs> good thing. He's three for three. Swings and falls that one off. Nazy's rundown is a single and he's and an RBI and he scored back in the first. He singled in the third and doubled in the fourth. Um, hustling double. It's a roller through the right side and it finds a hole and it's in for a hit. Witter coming around, he's going to score. And I don't know what the pitcher is doing on the mound, but he should be behind home plate there. That's not his job. To be the cutoff. No. And there you see it. Brennan should be backing up. The first baseman should be the cut. He's late getting out there, and then Brennan decides to take it, and that's not the right decision either. Oh. Can I play the devil's advocate for just a second on that play? Yep. When you don't pitch much, you don't know what's going on. It's not intuitive, and uh, that might be part of the problem. Ah, he pitches. <laughs> he pitches enough. All right, we're going to check this out. <laughs> I'm not saying this year. He's no, pitching. no, okay. Yeah, he All pitches right. in Legion. and Yeah, so he's been around the block. Right, and last year. Yeah, he's uh, only got... He's got so few innings pitch, Chris, I can't even find out how many. <laughs> That's a few. <laughs> but you're right, you know, if a kid's playing Little League and then he plays... You're a junior in high school. Yeah, you got to know a little bit, do a little better than that. Yeah. Yeah. Pitches off the uh, catcher's glove. Nazy dives into second. Had he uh, done a pop-up slide, he might have made it the third. We're going to give him a stolen base because he was running on the pitch. And now with only one out, North has two runs in. They're up six to two. We got Nazy on second. And if this rain continues, uh we might have to pull the plug, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I mean, we don't want all this TV and we, uh, devices in the rain. It kind of, well, we did that game at Lakeland that Yeah, we didn't have a TV. <laughs> no. It was just us sitting, sitting in the rain. They kept us off the grass. Yeah. There's a catch is made. And Nazy goes to third, tagging up. We'll 
Hunter Stager's out. It's two outs now in the inning, two runs in. And uh, Ryan Tross is up. Tross uh, did a good job there, Chris. Running behind home plate, uh, was ready Absolutely. to help Nazi if he was going to come home. Absolutely. That's uh, uh, Those are the simple things, you know. Right. You could tell my coaching was getting in into that last one when the pitcher right. was standing there, and that's another one. Do the simple things. Line drive, base hit right down the line. Good hit by Tross. He's going to go to second. He should be in there with a double. And again, diving in. Could have went in with a stand-up double. But... He's got a double and an RBI and another run for North. They're starting to open it up a little bit here, Chris. Yep. Well, South hung around, but they did not take advantage of their opportunities. And North now decides to to uh, do some pounding. And you, you hit the leadoff hitter, and then you bring up Witter and Nazy. You know you're, you're, you're pretty much doomed. And this ball's hit pretty well, too. Out in the left field, and uh, the catch is made out there to end the inning finally, but not before North comes up with three more runs and they lead it after uh, six, five and a half, seven to two. Comes to your money, whatever you want to get smart about, you can find it smartaboutmoney.org. Smart About Money is a free online resource. We are a non-commercial, non-profit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get information about money. For everything from how to build an emergency fund to how to deal with job uncertainty, smartaboutmoney.org has the answers you've been looking for. Smartaboutmoney.org, the easy place to start when you want to get smart about your finances. Getting ready to uh, start the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, North uh, adding to their lead, putting three runs on the board in the top of the sixth. And uh, South will be starting off with uh, their number nine hitter, Cameron Meyer, and then they'll move to the top. Uh, you see uh, Derek Lumens talking to the umpire. Looks like he's gonna make some changes, get some more of his players in the ball game. Dawson uh, Selvaski. Yep, Dawson. Yeah. Dawson Selvaski now in for uh, North. Dawson uh, pitching, plays a little first base. Nine left on base for South Marty. Nine. Yes, a lot. And that uh, that's only through five innings. Too many. Gotta clutch up. As I mentioned before. DePier leads the lead, followed by Bayport and Preble two games back. Then you got Mantuak, Pulaski, and Ashwaubena at three and two. Excuse me, Bayport's four and two, Preble, Mantuak, Ashwaubena three and two, Pulaski three and three, Southwest two and three, with North, South, and uh, Notre Dame each with a win. Pitches outside, that makes it two and oh on uh, the number nine hitter, Cameron Meyer. Meyer started at short, moved to uh, second base when uh, Lars Krugel was uh, taken out from his uh, pitching chores. I would think it's gonna be a short, short leash here. I would actually have somebody consider, oh, they called it a ball. I thought, it, there was that gesture again, Marty. I got thrown off on that. Yeah. Uh, right, he's signaling to take first base, and that's uh, when you do that with your right arm, you're uh, signaling a strike for us uh, experienced baseball people. 
and that's what's uh, been throwing us off every once in a while. And now somebody here like Witter or Nazy should take a walk. And uh, by that you mean go and talk to uh, Dawson. Timeout. Hey, we're winning. We just got you five runs. We only need six outs. You know, we're a good team. We got a great defense. What are you having for supper tonight? <laughs> you know, discuss. Where you know, are we going after the game? game. Yeah, discuss life. Uh, settle them down. One and one is the count. There's a pitch drives up and in to uh, Pethon. Pethon's had a tough night, Chris. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Others say he could go to his winner, Lolly Sack. That pitch looked pretty good, but uh, uh, it's called the ball. And I go with just fastballs here until he gets comfortable. I haven't found that though either. And that's There's another walk. Eight of nine. Charlie Zeichert, my old manager, at the Sheboygan A's used to say, walks will kill you. Yep. And uh, you put enough guys on base and there's Witter taking a walk. To talk to Silvoski and uh, you might be saying more than uh, where are you going after the game. <laughs> no, he's saying, hey, we're all right, dear. No problem. But again, like the situation that happened in the top of the order where you walked Freiburg, which led to Witter and Nazy, you're coming with the two, three, four. You just walked a guy who has one hit on the season. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and now they're, I don't know why we're playing up for bunt here, because they're not going to be bunting down by five, I would think. I would venture to say, Chris, I don't know how you feel, but you can almost play a little bit deeper on this artificial turf. Yep. The way the ball uh, comes off the bat. Oh, yeah. Tim is up. He's uh, one for two with a walk, and he scored back in the fifth. Kowalski's pitch is uh, in the dirt, gets by. Hunter Steger and the runners for uh, South move up to uh, second and third. And that's 10 of 11. And warming up is Bennett Becker. For North. And uh, I would think uh, he's going to be, I would be t telling him in a hurry. Now our umbrella's dripping water. That's yeah. <laughs> Solaski having all kinds of trouble throwing a strike. He's got Tim, two balls and no strikes. South has runners on second and third. They're down five, but now they've loaded the bases with nobody out on three walks. That's got to be it. There's no. Uh... Soik is no up again. next. Soik has been on base. Wow. Every time up, Chris, he's got a single, a walk, and a hit by pitch. Wow, I'm a little surprised by this, Marty. First pitch is up high. He's one throwing one strike. Jeez. Soik uh, came into tonight hitting 364. And now he's bringing him. And ball two goes bringing in the relief pitcher. This will be uh, Dawson's responsibility. And uh, <laughs> why they play the game, Marty. Yeah, that's exactly right. Bennett, a really good athlete. He can play outfield, infield, pitch. Definitely going to be a big factor next year when Nazy and Freiburg and Witter are gone. He'll be a, a everyday regular player for sure. He's a Those are some awfully big shoes to fill if uh, <laughs> you're the coach. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. how, do you, how do you replace guys like that? Yeah, they have now, now, you've had great teams at North oh, yeah. with great players, yeah. and when they're gone, I mean, it's you yeah. know, it's almost impossible. Yeah, they have a very nice JV team. Uh, they have a very nice eighth grade coming in, I know, as well. So, be some good things for North. 
But uh, right now, Bennett in a, in a bind, base is loaded. The good thing is, is uh, you know, you're still up by five runs and you just got to get out. You know, if you get every batter that comes, you still should be, you know, ahead. But uh, the problem is you got uh, Krugel. You got to deal with Krugel and Soik and then Klessing, some of the meat. Yeah, right, getting right in the heart of the order for uh, South. Yeah. This is, uh, so you retire your three batters and if they score, you're still up by two with uh, six outs to play. And your team gets the bat again, which is a... Uh, Bennett Becker, you said, is in? Yep. 2-0 count. Soik, outstanding baseball player. Another multi. The first pitch is right in there for a strike. Hey, we got two balls and one strike. Base is loaded. Nobody out for South. They trail it by five. And a chance to uh, seriously get back into this ball game. And that pitch is off the outside corner for ball three. Pitch is down low for a walk and a run is in for South. And they still do not have anybody out and they have the bases loaded. Meet of the order is up. Lars Krugel, Krugel singled his last time. He's one for three in a ball game. He's hitting 250 coming in. Pitch is outside for a ball. Strikes in the inning. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Bouncing ball. Toss home by Nazi from his third base position. Gets the force out at the plate. And that's uh, not what South wanted there. In a way, that wasn't that easy of a play, Chris, because uh, he had to throw over the head of the runner. Oh, he made it look easy. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Uh, four Trey Plessig up. Four-year starter. You mentioned Parkland, where he's going. That place is like the JUCO to go to in the country. If he does well there, he can always go to D1 players and places later. There's a strike. Makes the count one and one. Plessig is one for two of the walk. That walk led to a run for uh, South in an RBI. Two and one. Seven to three north. Tying run is at the plate. Bouncing ball to first baseman. Makes a good throw home for the force out. How about that? Yeah, very nice play by uh, Nathan Shearer. You got your four and five hitters, veteran players up there. And neither clutches up, slaps at it in a simple three to two. And now. John Meyer's up. Yep, who hasn't had a hit all season coming in. He didn't look comfortable swinging uh, his last time up either when he struck out. And Bennett now just one pitch away from avoiding a big inning yeah. for South. If I was Bennett Becker, I would throw nothing but fastballs. Oh yeah, get it over the plate. One and one is the count. Oh. Pitch looked close, but uh, might have been low. Two and one. Right back Meyer, uh, <laughs> yeah. Meyer got a piece that time. He's got to keep that front foot in. Steps in the bucket a little bit. Keep his eye on the ball, put it in play. Swung at a pitch up high for strike three, and that ends the inning. North avoids a big inning by South by bringing in uh, Bennett Becker, and he got out of the inning with a couple of fielder's choices and a strikeout, and uh, we're at the end of six innings of play. North on top, seven to three. 
today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. The score stays the same, Chris, when uh, Salt looks back at this loss. They're gonna see that they left 12 guys on base. They had the bases loaded three different times. Now, one of the times they did score a couple, but uh, they've had some opportunities that they just haven't capitalized on. Yep, and both teams gonna be uh, here in the seventh, starting with their seven, eight, nine hitters. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show how close South has come. You know, yeah, okay. team that struggled last year and obviously just one win this year, but they're they're in the games. They're in the games, and uh, you know, they just uh, need a little few heroes. And it, you know, one of the hardest things too is you always talk as a coach is, you know, have, you know, can we win? You know, learning how to win, how to close out games, um, and such. All good points, Chris, and uh, those are the things that uh, you'd hey, like to learn at the lower levels, but <laughs> Yeah, know. gentleman in the sweatshirt there, that's Garrett Rivest, he played for me. Yeah. He uh, coaches the JVs. Uh, he had a nice, sweet swing. You can see around home plate, the uh, dampness on the uh, artificial turf. If we were uh, playing on a dirt field, it'd be pretty tacky back there. Colin. Brennan remains in the ball game for uh, South. Had a tough inning back in the sixth when uh, he hit the lead, uh, pardon me, at the second batter, Feinberg, and uh, that led to uh, three North High runs. So he hit the ball pretty good. Another hit through the hole. Shearer with his second hit of the ball game. That's the 11th hit for North in the ball game, Chris. Norse uh, pitching, we talked about uh, Peyton Voigt and the nice job he did. The one drawback would have been the five walks in five innings, but he did have eight strikeouts. But in the ball game for uh, North, they've walked eight south batters, and uh, you know they gotta improve on that. They want to be successful. Here's Owen Dominguez, one of two, right? With yep. a walk. Yeah, exactly. Let off the second with a base hit. Pitches a ball, one and one is the count. Maybe not, maybe yes. I can't see his left hand. It comes up and it goes right in front of his head. And North going to attack again. He slid over the base, Marty. Just what you called before. Yep. No, I haven't seen one North High kid slide feet first. Good throw, by the way. Making that throw was uh, Ben Soik. He's got and, it down there uh, in good shape. You know North likes to run. There's one out, nobody on base. Dominguez. Strikes out. Half-hearted swing on that one. I don't think he wanted to, but uh, that went around. They 
Lallensack is gonna hit here in the nine hole. Evan Lallensack, another nice young man. And uh, Nathan Hendricks, who he's pinch hitting for, is actually uh, is actually uh, warming up to pitch. So I don't know if they're gonna go, I assume they're gonna re-enter Nathan and uh, Interesting move, huh, Chris? Well, you have Hendricks warming up, and well, Becker was pretty smooth there, but Nathan's a veteran. Nathan won a trip to the, actually won a state title game pitching at uh, the Legion this summer. Where Northwood, uh, excuse me, North, the Legion team, North South Legion team, went to, uh, won the state title and uh, went to regionals, won a few games there. Awesome summer. Hey, Chris, uh, let me ask you this. Now, we know, well, maybe our fans don't know this, but all of high school baseball in Wisconsin now plays in the spring. There's no more Correct. summer baseball. Yes. Uh, it frees up a lot of players for uh, Legion. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, pulling in kids from uh, around the county to uh, play for Sheboygan Legion? Yeah, I think, to me, it's you want to, you know, I'm sure bigger teams like Plymouth and that are going to try to have their own teams, but uh, in falls, but for the smaller schools, but I don't know. I always like to keep. Personally, I'm selfish. <laughs> I want to keep North kids playing for North, but uh, you're now going to have Christian kids and Lutheran kids have an opportunity to play as well on that Legion team. So that'll be nice. But there I have just, been in in. Not very often, but right. there have been a couple of kids from Lutheran who were good enough yep. and opted to play a Legion ball because they felt their skill level was yep. good enough, but uh, certainly not a normal course of action, but now it could be. Right, and uh, I'd, I'd keep Sheboygan for Sheboygan, and I, uh, you know, as a high school coach, you know, I want my kids playing, and the chance that they can, the only way they're gonna get better is if they're playing in the Legion now. Yeah. It does offer up for, opportunities for better kids to come in, but I guess it's, to me, Sheboygan is for Sheboygan. Now, if, uh, let, let's keep it here, Scott. Uh, in Sheboygan Falls, let's say, they opt for a Legion team. It'd basically be an extension of their high school program Correct. because they're very small. Can a community or communities, Plymouth Falls, co-opt for a Legion team yes, between those two. Absolutely, yes. Because that would seem to me to be a better course of action. You could run your yep. more skilled players on a varsity level and the other yep. players on a and JV there's level. different levels of Legion, too. There's you know, Just like high school. AA, AA, and A. Okay. Um, you know, the, the teams that have been doing it forever play that way, and they get, you know, teams from all over to do Of course, it, you got to have sponsorship to... Uh, yep get those teams going and the, the initial outlay I would think would be quite expensive. Yes. Well, you know, to, you know, a little bit, but you got to fundraise and it's different. And coach goes is, you know, he does the uh, North and then he does the Legion and, and it's, you know, it's got two, two purposes you're serving there. And that's a lot of work. <laughs> I'll just tell you that's, that's a lot of work and you know, I know he likes the summer weather better. There's no doubt about it. No. You know, he's, you know, that's. <laughs> he's a wimp. The weather and uh, <laughs> baseball in the summer that way, but. They kind of go together. But something to be said about playing for your team and in, uh, you know, your high school team. But I know in Milwaukee, they have started a league of basically high school teams. They didn't do Legion, they're like playing you know, because like, I was uh, like basketball has, or right, right, kind of. And they, they, I know I was part of the. So we start the top bottom, bottom seven. of seven. Yeah, North on top, seven to two. And Bennett's still pitching, by the way, Marty. Yeah. They re-entered Nathan. Seven to three. Pardon me. Still scored a run. Uh, I know that I was involved. You know, when I was still on the emails asking if we would like to join that league. So that'd be Cedarburgs, the Homesteads, the. Brookfields, the Menominee Falls, but because we already have a Legion so team. So a situation like that actually would hurt the Legion programs then, or could. Well, they don't have Legion because they were all high school teams in the first, because they played all summer baseball. And here we got a leadoff walk, which is the last thing you want to do starting off a seventh inning here. So basically the teams that were playing in the summer 
are, are now, they play in the spring, but now they now have a summer team as well, which would be a separate. Colin Mangan's up for Salt, and he takes a pitch outside. And uh, Bennett having uh, trouble throwing strikes. He came in back in the uh, sixth inning and uh, was spot on. Not the case right here. Eric he catches a corner with one. Yeah, he did what he had to do. He was clutch big time. And Chris hasn't mentioned it in an inning and a half, but it is raining harder than it's been the whole uh, time it's been raining. And this was to be expected. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. First out in the bottom of the seventh. You see the score, North on top, seven to three. It brings up uh, Cameron Meyer. Meyer started at short, moved to second. He's uh, got a hit and two trips and a walk. And he scored a run. He's been busy. And uh, I know he hits ninth. People think, oh, that's the worst hitter. He's a veteran. Good clutch hitter, and there you go, right there's your base hit. We'll throw into second base, gets away from everybody. It rolls all the way down the left field line. And uh, runners for South do not move up. Boy, I'm surprised at that, Chris. <laughs> I'll tell you, just, uh, you know, first pitch Meyer was hitting, and uh, he's got a sweet swing yep. for a left-hander. I mean, all left-handed batters seem he, to have a sweet I know swing. I played for my son this summer, and he, Tommy, liked him a lot. You know, he liked him a lot. Elliot Pedon's up. Elliot uh, walked his last time. One of uh, four walks in the inning that South drew. So we got one out, first and second. What you don't want here for North is to allow the tying run to get to the, yeah. to the, to the plate uh, with the bases loaded or anything. Preferably, you'd like to keep that tying run or the lead run in the yeah. dugout. Yeah. Try to get a double play here, but I think you're going to be taking, and he does. And again, you're you're pitching to a guy who has zeros, you know. Not much success at the bat this year. No. What he's looking to do is draw a walk, and uh, he's in great position with a 3-0 count. There's a good pitch. North a pitch away from the victory. Bennett Becker uh, play. finished out the sixth. He's trying to finish out the ball game and uh, gets a strike on a pitch that was, uh, let's put it this way, it was outside. <laughs> I thought he was doing that point thing again. Yeah. And there's our double play ball. Step on third, and rifle over to first, and a double play to end the ball game. We're gonna wrap this up real quick. North the winner, seven to three. The winning pitcher was uh, Peyton Voigt. Save goes to uh, Bennett Becker. Uh, good effort by South, but uh, just not enough. Too many guys left on base. Yep. Alrighty, that's gonna do it. Great job by our crew. And uh, for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching and uh, we'll be back. We've got a couple games in May that we'll be doing too.